Good afternoon, man. 25 gamers. Today's defense is going to showcase uh, one of the better voices in the game, and it's going to come to us from the 4-3 uh, under formation. And the play we're going to be looking at today is the edge sting. I know a lot of you guys probably remember this from you know last year. And what we want to do with this play is 4-3 under play its edge sting. What we like to do with this play is we like to base. Um, well, actually, we don't like to baseline. We like to man align. Press coverage, and we're going to shade everybody to the outside. We're going to spread our line. We're going to crash our line out, like so. We're going to re-blitz the left of screen defensive end. And then we're going to spread our linebackers, and we're going to use our Alonzo in the A-gap here. And this is going to create um, two-way pressure at the quarterback. You're going to get A-gap and uh, edge pressure. And the reason we like this play is because, uh, again, the ability to get two guys free is huge in this game. And also we like it because it's a man look. And we can, uh, we don't have to re, you know, it, it's already set up for us. We just have to do the line adjustments. So if they block a halfback here, you're still going to get pressure off that edge. So, I really like ed edge thing. And... In combination with our basement coverage. Now, one way you can run this as well is to just slide this guy out like so. If you do it like this, uh, again, you need to make sure, though, you have Alonzo really down that A-gap. And this is the way to run this without any setups. So you're going to get really good pressure off that right edge. Um, if you do this also, I recommend quarterback spying Darius. And then... Um, this is going to make the pressure really consistent off the left edge. Uh, coming hot at the quarterback here. And you have a quarterback spying now. And you could actually... You could really do whatever you wanted with Darius here. Like, you don't even have to spread your line. You could just... Like, I really like to buzz zone him. And... Put Bradham over here like so. Grab onto this guy. Throw him in the A-gap. And now we have a little zone man combo. And, you know, it's all about the pressure. So... Different looks here, different looks here. If you want to send it from just the right side, you can slide Bradham down. And I like to do the same thing I just did, but flip it. So we're going to crash our line out here. And we're going to take Williams and buzz zone him. We're going to take Alonzo, stack him in the A-gap. And now we're going to start to the right and then go left with our user player. And we're going to still get pressure. Alright, and then again, if you want to send the two-way pressure, spread your line, crash your line out. Reblitz left to screen in. You can slide Bradham out, or you could leave him there and just spread your linebackers. It really doesn't matter. Uh, the pressure will really not change that much. Just where it will come from will. So you'll see we can do something like this, and now we'll get two-way pressure with the running back blocking. So there you go. So that's our man blitz, guys. Really like this in fourth and short and third and short. 